Exact functions such as sum, count, large, max, mean don't work if a range includes errors. All right. If your range includes error, if your range includes errors, those functions will not work. However, you can easily use the aggregate function to fix this. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at Microsoft Excel aggregate function. So this is the range we're going to be looking at. All right. So let's try and use some function on this range. Can you see it's giving us division error? So now let's try max function. Can you see it's not working? All right. So this is how to use aggregate function. Mm? to help you add ranges or get maximum value or minimum value from a range that has errors all right let's use aggregate function so in this case we want to sum all right our sum function is in number nine so let's key that in what are we trying to ignore we are trying to ignore error values which is in number six comma now we can safely select our range and press enter we just sum the range all right and it contains error here we just sum it so the next one we are going to be looking at is the max function so let's check that aggregate our max function is in number four comma we are choosing ignore error values which is number six comma now we can select our range press enter 24 is the maximum value all right let's use this for minimum value which is as you aggregate our minimum function is in number five let's key that in number six key that in select your range of cells so our minimum value is four all right let's change this to two can you see it's working so the last one we're going to be looking at is a large function all right aggregate the large function is in number 14. select that and we're going to be ignoring error values select that comma select your range of cells the last parameter for this one is two because we want to check the second largest number on this on this list all right let's put there let's put two there so let's cover it so six is the second largest number in this range let's try the third largest number it's also six let's try the fourth largest number which is five five is the fourth largest number on this list so that is how to use aggregate function in excel please subscribe to this channel like this video you can comment and i will see you next time thank you